Hiya, um, I thought I'd do a video on a TBK 958A. That's a modified template. Um, I do see people asking how to do them. Um, same process will work for anything that uses this software, EasyCAD. So I think uh, M Triangle will use the same one. The other TBK's software is very similar, just maybe worded slightly different. Um, so I've got an 8 plus housing in, um, I thought I'd take the glass off so you can see how to adjust the laser for these more complex parts of the phone. So focus your machine, once your frame's in your mould or on your guide, open up your EasyCAD if you need to open it. And we'll open up our 8 plus back 2. The first one there, as you can see, doesn't have the cutouts, that's for your full of glass if you just want to laser that. And the back is to avoid all these small parts so you don't damage anything in behind the phone. Open that, make sure you covers off the laser for your preview mark and go light. Um, this is a pain to see when you're trying to look at everything so we will stop this and to modify and see everything individually we we'll drag the cursor along the whole template get rid of this object list box if you have it and go down to delete hatch and this will delete everything and just leave your outlines. Down here you've got mark select total check that. Now when you select something the laser will only give you a preview of what you've selected so we're going to do the main frame click on it and go light. Now the laser will only give you a preview of the frame surround so on here that's a bit close to the edge for my liking so what we're going to do is shrink that slightly top looks fine and the sides actually look pretty good so I'm going to adjust the length by about half a mil and see where we go so stop with that highlighted still on the top left here you've got size for X and Y X is your length and Y is your width so we're going to take this down by half a mil so we're going to go down to 153.5 so click on there use your keyboard to delete your figures 3.5 sorry for the focus but right, apply and that should bring in your frame as you can see this padlock here I've got unchecked if you lock it it will change your width as well to the same ratio or percentage that you've increased your length so if you just want to do the length and just the width on their own make sure this is unchecked do another light preview and there you go it's inside of the frame simple as that it's probably brought this one in slightly because it does, does it centrally so I just knock the key left to move the laser left if I go down it'll move the laser template towards me like that look yeah so get that centralized a bit keep knocking forward nice same again with everything you will want to check every one of these markouts let's click do this one for example light and he's slightly out so we go forward a tad left a tad and that's it centralized if you want to make that bigger same process again just go up here and adjust your sizes to make that bigger or smaller if you want to modify something like this click on it 
press light and there is your preview so in an ideal world you want that as close as you can to that mark out without going through that hole and damaging your flex so we're going to reduce that slightly and to do that you can't really adjust these sizes because that will do the whole shape altogether. So you may find this bit slightly out, but this top bit's perfect. So to adjust that, we're going to scroll in and you can do that just by using your mouse scroll. And go up and down on this plotting area to scroll in. Keep scrolling in. And what we're going to do on the left here we've got this toolbar is use this one and this will sort of get all your nodes on your template so click that and you can drag every single one of these nodes out or in or even delete them so because this is a straight line we don't really need all them there because that's just going to be a pain to move all of those nodes and points so if you drag across the whole lot up until almost the last one and press delete there you go all you need to do now is just move the one on the top still got one there delete and it's one there delete same with this, oh, highlight all them, delete, scroll in, once you've done this you can save it and your templates will be spot on pretty much every time. So now we're going to go back to our arrow key up there just to select select your template go to light down the bottom again so we're going to bring this one up so we're going to stop that I'm going to delete that last little row there just to make this easier to adjust right so literally click on it there's two there I'll delete that as well literally drag your points up if I do this as an example, click your arrow, click on your shape, and go light. See look, you've got the shape it's exactly as that is. Stop. We'll bring this down a bit. And then bring this one up to suit. Yeah, you can see I've got these little other nodes here, which as you can imagine is quite tedious when you've got loads of them, which is why we delete them if they're not needed. Bring that up so it's a bit more level-ish. There we go. Click. Light. It's a bit short, so we're just going to drag these out a bit more you don't need to click on the nodes now because we've deleted all them it's just a case of adjusting and pressing light until we get the size we like Oops, right. light there you go you can't really see it on the camera but that is away from that edge and you do the same for everything else. Just, you can bring this in by deleting some nodes or points, 
however you want to describe them. You just delete all this and just leave your end end points and drag them in. Or leave them as they are and bring every single one in, up to you. So if you're happy with this, uncheck mark select total then drag over your whole template and then on the top you'll have this hatch click that and here you can change the angle of the laser so you can have them firing at 45 90 180 whatever whatever you fancy um, you don't really need to play around with all this uh, this loop sorry line distance here is another one um, so the laser will move over and then index over and move back and that line distance is how far the laser will move over every time so in this instance it's going to move over 0 0.04 millimeter on every pass so the higher that number effectively passing quicker but you may end up with some paint left over on the back of the glass uh, 0 0.04 I find is spot on for it really uh, you can assign different pen numbers to this template so you can have one template more powerful than another we don't need to worry about any of that really after what we're doing so once you're happy with your settings um, click OK and that is it you'll be ready to click mark and laser off your glass or your frame um, what I would say is if you're doing white glass I usually drop the speed down to about 500 so it's a lot slower and uh, you should have more of a chance of removing that paint easier there's other videos if you want to know how to use this software more in depth you can either ask me to do some other videos if there's something particularly you want or just look up EasyCAD software on YouTube I'll try and find a link uh, but there's some really good tutorials on there I just applied some of the ones I've seen to this application because I found there wasn't much online for this computer or this laser sorry um, but once I use those videos I was able to do this within six hours um, hope that helps someone thank you very much